A new documentary series has told how a West Lothian killer hid his wife's body under floorboards of their home. The new episode on Netflix Meet Mary Murder details the twisted story of how Harry Jarvis hid the body just meters away from where his millionaire mistress slept in a shed. Jarvis murdered his wife, Carol Jarvis, 47, in September 2009, at their home in Bathgate. His mistress, Jew Roll Pastry heiress Rita Haster, who was said to be infatuated with him, had bizarrely been living in the garden shed at the time of the murder. Jarvis' son Graham explains in the episode how the couple made the decision to move from London, where they met, to the town near Edinburgh after Harry had fallen out with his family. In 2000, a degenerative muscle condition saw Carol, then 38, become wheelchair-bound, after which Jarvis became her full-time carer. But before long, he began having affairs with other women and met Rita Haster. As reported by Grimsby Live, Haster needed a roof over her head after squandering her £2.5 million fortune. Jarvis, who was born in Grimsby, fitted out the garden shed with a mattress for her to live in, while Carol was bedbound just four feet away inside the house. Everyone knew she was living in the garden shed. It must have been the strangest circumstances for local gossips to talk about, barrister Tony Kent says in the documentary. Graham Jarvis explains how his dad, Harry, was responsible for administering the medication for his sickly mother and would give her so many sleeping tablets that she would sleep throughout the day. He said, when dad had maybe went away on one of his vanishing episodes and we gave mum her medication, she seemed to perk up a lot more, wake up, and go back to getting up out of bed. Alarm bells started ringing, but as young adults, how do you question your dad, in terms of that she was fine one minute and then not the next? Twisted Jarvis and Haster hatched a plan to poison and murder Carol, who had become an inconvenience, to allow them to be together. In a sick letter to Haster, Jarvis wrote, Drugs are doing job just took longer than I thought. But going fast now, see you in paradise soon. Carol is dying as I write. Then we have house to ourselves and sell all in it to move on. When Carol's children visited the house and questioned Jarvis about her whereabouts, he bizarrely told them she was visiting Dundee because the couple were planning on moving there. That was the time that alarm bells started ringing that something wasn't right, Graham said. The siblings contacted police, who visited the property and found Haster hiding under a bed. Unbelievably, her and Jarvis told officers that she was in fact Carol. But one officer had previously met Carol and knew they were lying. Jarvis then told police that Carol was in Dundee and that he would travel the following day to collect her. Officers proceeded to search the house and soon discovered Carol's body underneath the floorboard. Because of the state of decomposition the body was in, investigators were unable to determine her cause of death. The twisted couple had gone on the run, and police launched a manhunt to find them. They were arrested by police as they exited a bus in Edinburgh and taken to the police station to be interviewed.